Yo, what's up guys, Cartoon Cory here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all three SpongeBob shows, SpongeBob SquarePants, The Patrick Show, and Camp Coral. More specifically, we're going to be deep diving into some mistakes. So yeah, let's get started. Our first mistake can be found in the Camp Coral episode, Quest for Tyre. In this episode, SpongeBob, Patrick, and the rest of the gang are feeling pretty hungry. But unfortunately for them, the Camp Coral food truck has completely gone missing. From here, the episode focuses on this dilemma, with the camp goers going on a wacky adventure to find their truck. In the end, they're successful. Well, despite destroying the truck, but yeah, they're successful. And the episode ends with everybody enjoying some food. But let's go back a little and talk about a mistake. At one point of the episode, we see Patrick fall while putting on a handkerchief. And if we pause at the right frame, his eyes duplicate for about a second. It's very weird. Here's a clip. Our next mistake can be found at the very beginning of Just In Time For Christmas, the 15th episode of The Patrick Star Show, and the show's very first holiday special. Now I was going to skip the plot summary since the mistake takes place so close to the start of the episode, but it's too funny. Pretty much, in this episode, Patrick is forced to time travel, also he can find last minute Christmas gifts for his family. Yeah, not going to say much more since it's hilarious and I want you guys to watch the episode, so let's talk about some mistakes, it's why you guys clicked the video after all. During this scene, where we see Grand Pat get electrocuted while putting the star on the tree, something weird happens with Patrick's mom, as not only does the design of her dress disappear, but also the lines for her… her breasts. Yeah, here's a clip. It's Bunkins! A severed telephone bowl? Why, that means it's Christmas Eve! I'm missing it! Nice job lighting the stars, son! Moving over to regular Spongebob, our next mistake can be found in the episode Muscle Bob Buff Pants. In this iconic episode, Spongebob learns that he's not nearly as buff as he once thought, and as a result, becomes so insecure that he orders fake arms with inflatable muscles just to impress Sandy. This episode is another classic, full of hilarious and memorable moments, but of course, there are also a few mistakes. The first takes place when Mr. Krabs is sweeping in front of the Krusty Krab. If you have a good eye, you'll notice that our favorite greedy crab is missing one of the sleeves on his shirt. Another mistake that is a lot more noticeable can be found at the end of the episode, in the final scene. For some strange reason, SpongeBob is missing his arm. Yeah, here's a clip. Ahoy, Mr. Krabs! Mother of Pearl! Six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. I want a hundred more! It hurts! One, two, three, four. I think we five, finally found an exercise for you, seven, SpongeBob. Nine. Our next mistake can be found in the Camp Coral episode, Tag You're It. This episode is all about a very rough and very turbulent game of tag that gets a little out of hand. This all starts at the beginning of the episode, when Spongebob and his friends are forced to play inside due to the rain. So they decide to play a good old classic game of tag. This slowly gets wild though, 
when everyone begins to play rough. Heck, at one point, we see someone throw a book at another person just to tag them. It's wild. Now in the end, the rain clears up and the gang goes swimming. But if we head back to the beginning of this episode, we can spot a mistake. It's a bit of a nitpick, I will admit, but before the rain, there were cabins in the distance behind SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy. This one right here. But after the rain starts falling, the cabins have magically disappeared. Not only that, but even just the background in general is completely different now, so this was a pretty bad mistake. Here's a clip. Tag? Just the three of you? <laughs> That's right! Just the three of us! Alright, alright, go! Get out of my hair! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Heading back over to regular Spongebob, our next mistake can be found in the episode Suds. In this episode, Spongebob catches a nasty case of the flu after accidentally leaving his fridge open overnight. What a dummy. I love you Spongebob, but just how do you even do that? Ignoring the fact that he could be sick, he still goes into work and begins sneezing all over the Krabby Patties. But it seems that Suds isn't the only sickness he's experiencing. As while he's sneezing, his left eyeball turns black for about a split second. Yeah, that looks really bad, Spongebob. I know you eventually see a doctor by the end of the episode, but I hope you also talked about your black eyeball condition. That does not look healthy, dude. Right away, sir. Spongebob, what's wrong with you? You're paler than a baby seahorse. <coughs> the suds? Here's that patty you wanted, Mr. Crab, sir. <laughs> SpongeBob, you're too sick to work. No, Mr. Krabs, I'm okay. Honest. No, no, go. 